This is bird feeder drawing number one. The final version will not include value. But warm up and do use value. Practice the cylinder, the cone, the cube, and the sphere. You can practice straight lines without a ruler and with a ruler. Always keeping in mind the idea of using linear perspective. Look for symmetry in your work. If it lacks it, bring it in. So if we have a cone or a cylinder that's supposed to taper, we don't want it to be uneven. When you're ready to work on the assignment, after you've done some warming up, turn the board vertically and get a piece of charcoal paper on there. I'll make a light mark as a guideline. It will represent the center of the page. More importantly, it's going to represent the axis of this cylinder. And I'm not pressing too hard because I know I'm going to make some changes. But you can see that the axis helps me understand whether or not this side and this side are even. Now I'll measure. I've got something that's about five inches across. I want to taper it, maybe knock off about an inch. So towards the bottom, this angle starts to narrow. There's a point over there. Erase as you go along, just to provide some clarity on the page. And understand that the history of your drawing is going to be on here. In other words, there'll be marks that will reveal themselves through the process, and that's okay. The next thing is take the center point Make an angle, see if you can replicate a mirrored view of the angle. That's a little bit off, so now I bring it down there a little bit. That looks better. And when we bring in an elliptical shape or line, you can see we start to have what appears to be a cone. One of the best ways to make this even is to just act as if the object is transparent and come to the other side. So again, erase what you don't need, anything that's distracting. Remember, you can use the side of the charcoal for your straight lines. And if it's a piece about this big, you can immediately see if the angle is going to mirror this one here. So I can see that's not right, and that's not right, and that feels better. And there's my two marks, and I think it's somewhere in between my initial two marks. And we go across, where's the intersect? Probably more like there, not out here. So what you're constantly doing is looking left to right. This is a really good practice for you to create discipline in your scene. This tapering of the cylinder is to provide the sense that we're looking down over the object instead of directly across. That tapering means we're looking down. So the bottom would not be flat. That wouldn't make any sense because we're not looking across. We need an ellipse down at the bottom. Here's an ellipse here and down here. Your ellipse is going to be wider. There's less foreshortening as you're looking over. So again, we do a lot of practicing of forms when we create even a completed drawing such as this. Well, we'll be making modifications along the way, and it'll start to appear like something else. But the idea here is to always start with the basic forms and see what we can make from those basic forms as we make adjustments, modifications to them. For example, what if I add a couple of ellipses, take that out, 
So a combination of adding and subtracting So think of where we started. You can see the remnants of the lines, the history. Like I said earlier, that's a good thing. It's a guide. It still acts as a guide. So if I just bring that back in for emphasis, we can see where we started from originally. Now it's time to add some other forms. Throughout the process, I try to put in guidelines to maintain symmetry. So I was attempting to work on this scallop part by imagining some sort of realistic spacing between the points. That could be achieved through first using the guidelines or imagining that these being equidistant up to a point and as they appear further away from us there's kind of a compression with this particular shape. Another thing that could be considered a positive way to use a guideline is simply coming in with something that's kind of elliptical here and then figuring if you carve out a hole does this look even come in with another guideline there. And here's a, a chance to use the ellipse seen from the front and then turning away from us a bit. So frontal view of the circle, but as we go away, and here we use guidelines for the top and the bottom of these circles. these become elliptical. Now through the process of intersecting forms, you can enhance the illusion of volume. And these two lines that I'm drawing have to appear to converge. So they're not exactly going to appear evenly spaced, they're parallel, but they have to again have some convergence. This will be elliptical. This will be elliptical. So I can just have this cylinder intersecting a cube. And remember that we're going to see this slightly from an angle. Parallel lines need to appear to recede. Which ones? One, two, three. Parallel lines converge somewhere out there. One, two, three parallel lines converge somewhere out there. The cylinder can be extended somehow. It could appear to go into this block and then come down. You want this to be convincing that if it goes inside this like some sort of device, some sort of system, where would it end up? Not over here necessarily, but pretty much still in the center. Roughly like that. And of course, if it's a cylinder, it's gonna have an opening or it stops nevertheless the cylinder seen from the top or the bottom is going to have that little ellipse. So another sphere, sort of a variation on a sphere which transitions into a tapered part of the cylinder. It's all a combined variation of the different forms. Now what you do at this stage is up to you. I want you to be creative and imaginative. You can still use my drawing in this demo as a template, but be inventive.
a couple more things I'm going to add and then I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to leave it alone because I want you to come up with your own design. So back to that concept of the guideline. First, I think this ellipse needs to be a little bit broader. If I bring a guideline in here, this represents the center of this form. I'm looking down over this. I'm going to make a cone that looks a little bit foreshortened. It's a small cone, of course. Put another one in. But first, I'll put in another guideline so I know where the tip of the cone is to end, which is basically like right there. And another one. This is a little bit more elliptical, but the tip of the cone ends roughly there on my guideline. And again, tip of the cone ends on that guideline, move over, and so on. Coming in with a finer eraser gives you a chance to get into some of those tighter spots. And you can also work with the charcoal pencil if you've lost some lines that you feel need to be really sharp, maybe a little bit more pronounced. I'd be reluctant to press too hard. You want the lines to be finer, but you wouldn't want some areas to be really dark lines and some not. But for example, this line is kind of thick. Make a little bit of a thinner line, then come in with the eraser. So this drawing that we do, first, we're not going to work with value. We just want to work with the contour lines so we can understand some of the basic shapes and how to execute. One detail that is important, if you were to look inside this opening, you would see a little bit of the shape, the thickness of this object, this form. A little ledge like you see on a window or a box. So as we see down into this, we would also see a little bit of the opening there. Might seem a little strange to not have any value. So therefore, it's not a bad thing if I put a little bit of tone in there to show that that hole is lacking light. Continue to always clean the drawing up with your eraser fine lines. Dust off the eraser shavings. Accentuate marks that get lost, marks that might get blurry, faint. Rotate the board to look for inconsistencies that you may not have noticed before. So remember, establish the core of the drawing with the cone, cylinder, cube, and sphere. Add and subtract forms to develop changes. Be creative. Add anything that comes to mind. Erase if it doesn't work. Good luck.